What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about iPhone and more specifically the topic is how do you install an actual eSIM on your iPhone? First of all, you should know some things about it and mainly that the support is kind of limited. So for that, you're going to be required to have uh, at least iPhone 10s. You can see you're going to need the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, or iPhone 10R, or anything later than that. So the previous devices are not going to be supported because eSIM only works within these devices. So that's something you need to have, and also at least iOS 12 because the older versions simply will not be supported. Now, of course, eSIM is, of course, a SIM card, so it has to be done through a carrier. So you, you will at first have to get in touch with your carrier. This is what I did. I paid like a little bit of money. I paid like 10 bucks and I received this little card, which allows me to open it up and set it up on my iPhone, which is the next thing I'm going to show you right now. So on your iPhone, what you're going to have to do is to open up the settings and you can see you will get to this section right here. And what you need to click on is basically the cellular section. So you will get inside of the uh, cellular. You're going to be able to see it right here. And as of right now, you can see a bunch of different stuff like uh, all of the options you can turn on and off the data. <clears throat> but as you can see at the bottom, you also have the eSIM functionality. You can see eSIM right there. Add eSIM is the blue button. So this is what you're going to have to click on. Now, once you have clicked on it, you can see that it is loading up and it will get you to this pop up. Now, it tells me to choose a phone number. I have no idea which numbers it came up with. I don't know what that is. So the transfer is not supported for those numbers. I have no idea about that. But what I did is simply clicking on the other options at the bottom. So you can see it right here at the bottom of the page is the blue icon. So this is what I clicked on. And after I do that, it's going to get me inside another section technically and uh, there i will be able to uh, to add or uh, scan the actual qr code so you can see set up cellular you can transfer a phone number from a nearby iphone or scan a qr code provided by your carrier so in case you have an eSIM in an iPhone, which is already set up in a different device, you can use the first method and tap on the first button. But in my case, I'm going to use the second option, which is use QR code. So it's going to open up my camera. You can see I blurred it out, of course, so you cannot see it. But it recognized the QR code, which was part of my little card, which I got from my carrier. And you can see it is loading, so it had to be loaded up. Now it tells me to activate the eSIM. So there is only one button, so I clicked on it. Of course, nothing else I can do about it. And right now you can see that it is being activated. And this is what took the most amount of time. Of course, it has to be done. It has to be done properly through a carrier. So it's not like depending on your internet or anything like that. It has to be set up. But as you can see, it's taking quite a while in my case and also in the case of many other people who are doing the same stuff. So you should pay attention to that. So yeah, you can see connecting to network and cellular setup is complete. So that's really awesome, right? Okay, so you get to this next page, next section, which is called cellular plan labels. And this is nothing more than just a way for you to, to see and uh, to actually have some kind of order in the numbers. So you can see we have the primary as well as the cellular data, but these are just labels. It's nothing really more behind that not much really is going on so what you have to do is basically just select the first number the second number and choose some kind of label for it let's say this one is going to be business number the second one is going to be travel number or one for just cellular data some basic tags already prepared for you but you can also add your own custom label so it's better suited for you so that's how you need to go about it you can choose the tag for the first as well as for the second one so uh, really useful of course now, then you get to this section and you have to choose which is going to be the default line. So whenever you just fire up the phone app and you want to call someone, which number is going to be chosen? And this is already showing the labels which you have chosen. So I have chosen primary as well as cellular data because the second eSIM is going to be just for internet. The first one is going to be my primary. Th these are the labels I have chosen. And of course, for phone calls, I want to choose the primary. For iMessage and FaceTime, again, I'm going to use the primary. And a cellular data, of course, as the name suggests, and as my label suggests, I'm going to use the cellular data for that. So that's why I have to pick the second option. But one very interesting thing is 
allows cellular data switching. What it does is that there is also a little description there. It allows you, when you turn it on, of course, it lets you use both signals at the same time. So if you have two SIM cards, you have two carriers and one may have a better reception in one area and some, some the other one can have better reception in other area. So when this option is turned on, it's going to switch in between them. So that's the good thing about it. But unfortunately, I don't want to keep it turned on because I just want to use the cellular data for that. You have to, uh, you have to decide if you want to keep it turned on or off. It's up to you, but it's not really that important. So this is something to also pay attention to. After that, you're going to come back to the main cellular section because you have gone through the entire process. So that's about it. But of course, in the SIM section, you can also add another SIM card if you wanted to. So the add eSIM button is still there. So nothing is really going on. You can add the third SIM card if you really wanted to. And also above that, there is a default voice line. So you can click on that and change the, the settings which we have gone through. So the, pre, uh, the primary eSIM or prim primary phone number for phone calls or for data. You can also tweak it in the settings. So that's going to be the wrap up for today. That's basically everything what I wanted to show you. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out until then.